Oh, here we go. This is the question I've been getting over and over and over and over again. I want to be fair because a lot of you have asked this question. And uh, uh, I think I've had everything but people coming to my door to ask this question. I've got it on Facebook, emails, private messaging. And uh, I guess everybody wants an answer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be fair and put up the first questions I got on this from Facebook. Uh, John Trent says... What's your reaction to DC Comics retconning Tim Drake and making him attracted to dudes? Uh, Jonathan Haley Tang shortly thereafter said, What are your thoughts on the recent Tim Drake retcon? Stefan the Wiki, very disgusting to turn Tim where he was never when he never was written as gay. Tom Morris, do you have any thoughts on the apparent trend of legendary creators now disowning, being ashamed of the work? Or works they, that made them legends. Also, sorry that the new memo from DC must be, yeah, do we have anything else Chuck Dixon worked on that we can bleep all over? Um, okay, my bonafides. What are my bonafides on Robin? I wrote a hundred of his monthly issues. I wrote numerous miniseries, specials, annuals uh, of Tim Drake Robin. I did not create Tim Drake Robin. Marv Wolfman created Tim Drake Robin. Alan Grant further developed Tim Drake, but then I was tasked, tasked by Denny O'Neill to develop the character further and make him worthy of being Batman's sidekick, basically. So he moved from ancillary character to full-fledged boy wonder. Um, and, you know... Robin is an iconic character, been around forever. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, most of what I feel, I, you know, I'm not surprised by what happened because <laughs> this is what they do. Uh, and it's just kind of, you know, um, it's it's disappointing more than anything else because why why couldn't they just create a new character uh, instead of leaning into a question that's existed for the Robin character almost since his creation thanks to uh, this gentleman Frederick Wortham who introduced the idea that uh, there may be some sort of homosexual subtext to Batman and Robin and now they've basically confirmed it uh, for what reason I have no understanding I mean it's a cynical marketing ploy because it brings attention to the title what it will not bring to the title is increased sales uh, because these things never work that way it there have been gay characters in American comics since the 80s it's not a new thing. It's not stunning or brave. It's just changing things for the sake of changing them. Uh, I mean, what's next? You know, uh, Hal Jordan is a cannibal. <laughs> I mean, what 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 are they going to do next? Uh, but this is this is the this has been the flavor of the month for almost three decades. Is to reveal that a character is is by or gay, which to me is a distinction without a difference. But, um, so I don't understand the point of it. The character was never written this way, never conceived this way, but this is going to be his continuity from now on. Even if they retcon it back, even if they do a reboot and, and he's no longer by curious, um, he will be by curious for the rest of time. Uh, you know, this is going to be part of his continuity. And I don't think there's any real good reason for this beyond a simple marketing ploy. And um, like I said, these marketing ploys aren't even, um, you know, they don't work. They're not effective. They don't raise sales, but they raise interest from the media and from the peers within the industry, which I guess is the point. Um, you know, 
to get uh, your back slapped at, a, at an editorial meeting or possibly, you know, get an interview with Vanity Fair. Uh, you know, maybe your, maybe your name might get mentioned on CNN. Uh, you know, that's, that's the end result of this. But I think the vast majority of the American public has no idea who Tim Drake is. So now Robin is gay. Because they, they, don't, they don't know the difference between, they don't know there's been three versions of Robin or four or five versions of Robin. They just know Robin the Boy Wonder. So they're thinking, you know, Burt Ward and Adam West. And now, you know, Robin is, uh, is into guys. So, but at the end of the day, it's just lazy writing. Uh, it's, like, it's like when they used to kill characters to get interest in them. And that was the only idea they had for a long time. Uh, now they they uh, they delve into the character's sexual proclivities, and for my money, and when I was writing comics, and I was writing under the comic code, my, none of my characters were ever sexually active. Now I wrote plenty of scenes where you know there was a clinch and a fade out, and you could assume that the characters went on to uh, you know do the do the deed, but but I left that up to the reader. You could you could believe that or you could not. I, it was like the old movies where the lead, leading man and the leading lady, you know, have a passionate kiss, fades to black, and when we see them again, they're, you know, having breakfast together wearing different clothes. So you could think, you know, you could fill in the blank between those two scenes any way you wished, and that's the way I always left it. Uh, the only characters I ever had who were sexually active that I wrote were Conan the Barbarian and uh, occasionally Frank Castle would get lucky. But other than that, I didn't, you know, I dealt in romantic relationships rather than sexual ones. But by introducing the idea that, that a character is, is gay or bisexual, you, you are introducing the sexual aspects of it. I mean, you're, you're saying the word, you know, you're, and I just don't think it has a place I know most, I know kids don't really read these things anymore and they're written for adults, but it just seems like a weird way to go uh, to, in, in a medium filled with characters who run around in masks and capes and boots. Um, it just seems to approach the fetishistic to explore their sexuality in any way, even just to hint at it, uh, which, I, which I imagine that's what this comic is doing. It's simply hinting at what might happen uh, in between the panels or in between issues. So I don't see any point to it. So like I said, you know, no, I'm not disgusted. I'm not angry. I mean, he's, I don't know these characters. They can do what they want with them. Uh, but it is just, it's boring at the end of the day. It's just boring uh, and, and a little disappointing. 